in terms of what I do with my job, there are a lot of similarities to what you do in school, right? So the first thing I do after I swipe in because of my clearance. So if you're working with national security, you either have a L clearance or a Q clearance, which means you either have secret clearance or top secret clearance. Now I have top secret clearance, which means that I had to go through a polygraph, I had to have a urine test, and I had to have a psychological analysis. So that's the first time I had ever been through anything like that. So that was actually pretty exciting for me. Um, so they gave me my clearance, and so that means I'm allowed to go behind what we call the glass doors. And that means you take your badge, and you not only do the proximity reading to the badge, kind of like how you see with Mission Impossible and things like that, you have to then plug in your key code. So somebody can't just get your badge, right? They have to know the code in your mind in order to get you through the doors. So everybody I work with has to do that. They go through the glass doors, go to your office, and you log on, right? So this is how it's like school. You go in, you log on, it's the first thing you do, you check your emails, and then you're going to have meetings. So meetings you can think of like classes, right? I have a 9 a.m. meeting, I have a 10 a.m. meeting, 11 a.m. meeting. Um, but what's different about what I do is that we authorize the funding of national laboratories. And national laboratories are where we have subject matter experts that are, again, scientists, they're engineers, um, they're mathematicians, uh, they're analysts. Uh, sometimes they know accounting, budgeting, and things like that. So in Washington, D.C., we have oversight of those laboratories. So we have to justify budgets, and we have to work with Congress. So depending on what day it is, I'm either working with the laboratories, I'm um, working with Congress, I'm um, working with other federal agencies. So if you've heard of the Department of Homeland Security, sometimes I work with them. If you've heard of Department of Defense, sometimes I work with those guys. So we're all working in kind of that same arena when you're talking about national security. So, and then sometimes I'm working within my own agency. So I'm in defense programs, but there are people who work nuclear nonproliferation. And what that means is you don't want people to be able to get access to nuclear materials, say your uranium or your plutonium. You want to make sure that's very safeguarded and only people who should have access to it have access to it. So sometimes I work with those people. So, and sometimes I work with people who work in Navy or the Marines or the Army and things like that. So that's my job.